What's going on everybody? We got another rapid disc review for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Trance from Axiom Discs. This disc was released last year for last year's OTV Open, but we got a rerun of it for this year. We, this one is in the Neutron Prism Plastic, I believe is what it's called. It's got like this proton rim on it. Looks really cool, by the way. I love this stamp also. So the numbers on the Trance are 85 negative 2 1. So I brought out a Essence with me from Discmania, 86 negative 2 1 to see how it flies compared to that. This thing actually kind of feels like an overstable disc in my hand when I picked this up. I didn't I didn't know exactly what the numbers were gonna be, but it feels like an overstable disc. It actually feels like my pyro, maybe just a little bit thinner profile, but it has that muffin top just like a pyro. So we're gonna be throwing these two today, comparing them against each other. Let's just try to throw them out there flat first. We'll throw the Essence first. Since I've already done a review on this one, you guys should know how this one flies. Nice little flip up, goes pretty straight with some uh, with some hyzer finish. Didn't give that one a lot of uh, a lot of snap first throw of the day. Let's see if we can't put some put some juice on this trance. Okay, didn't flip up at all, and uh, just held the hyzer the whole way. Literally didn't. I don't think it flipped up at all. We're gonna have to throw that a bit more to see. So those throws came out a bit hyzer first throws of the day. I will say though the essence is way over there. I mean, it went it went a way bit further than this trance did, and I don't feel like I threw them that differently. The essence definitely flipped up a little bit and had that six glide. You could definitely see that extra glide in it. I think it just wanted to push straight for a little bit further before fading out like this trance did. All right, we're gonna try again on the flat throw. First couple throws came out a bit hyzer. So we're gonna try to actually get these things flat. Now flat for me is me trying to put a little bit of anhyzer on them and they just come out flat. So we'll just try that. Okay, that's a lot of Anheuser. And it is never coming out of that turn. Do you have a slight headwind right now? That just picked up, as you can probably hear. Let's see if we can get some turn out of this trance with the headwind. All right, we got a little flip up out of it that time. At least I didn't grip lock it like the Essence, but uh, yeah, not any turn at all. Baby flip up. I did put that on hyzer again. I, I, sorry, I can't not throw on hyzer. So even though this Essence and Trance have very similar numbers, they're not even close to the same disc. I was, I'm not gonna lie. I've been throwing. I threw the Trance around a little bit yesterday. Played around with it. Was just throwing it a couple times test throw. And thing's kind of beefy. Thing is kind of beefy. We're gonna show it you on a forehand next. It does get a little bit of turn on my forehand, but uh, yeah, it's it's kind of beefy. You're not gonna lie. Kind of glad that they didn't put the flight numbers on this disc because every time I would pick this disc out of my bag and look at it, I'd look at the flight numbers. Numbers, and I would expect it to fly like that. Just disregard these things flight numbers. It is not a negative 2-1. does not fly like a negative 2-1. Now, of course, this is the only one I've thrown. I could have got a weird run. Maybe mine's just the beefiest trance in the box. I don't know. Not sure about that. One thing I can say about this disc is it feels really good on the forehand. If you like a pyro, if you like the feel of that muffin top pyro, and you like it on a forehand, I mean, this thing feels like, literally, it feels like an eight-speed pyro. We're going to throw it on some forehand down there and show you guys how torque resistant this thing is. Look at that. I hit the tree, but I mean, that thing just went laser straight. And honestly, I cranked on that thing with a little bit of Anheuser on my forehand. That's how my forehands typically come out, is with a little bit of Anheuser. So I kind of chopped down that thing and it, it straightened out and went straight. This thing, if I chopped over on it, would be a roller. I got a hyzer this thing. I'm actually not even going to throw it the same way. I'm going to purposely put it on hyzer and show you guys the flip up. See that thing flip up straight? That thing flew like the trance, but I put it on like way more hyzer and it flew straight just like the trance. Of course, I threw it low, but you guys saw it flip up and was going to just go dead straight. If I did give that a little bit of height, it probably would have never faded. It probably would have just went straight forever towards the basket. Two completely different discs. Disregard the numbers on the trance. Don't listen to what the MVP says about it. It might be a negative 2-1 for Simon Lazote or whatever. You know, Eagle McMahon might be throwing this thing like a negative 2-1. But for me, personally, nah, I don't think it's going to fly like that. It's not a hyzer flip fairway driver that I'm looking for, personally. Honestly, the thing flies my flies just like my Athena. Like, literally, it flies just like my 7502 disc, which is nice. I mean, this thing could be an awesome backup for that. Like, it's going to get a tiny bit of turn. It's really just going to go straight. On my forehand, it's just going to go straight which is awesome for me. I'm not even going to throw the Essence. They don't fly the same. We're just going to throw the Trance so you guys can see how it flies. We're going to put it on a lot of Anheuser. 
That's good, actually. That's a good Anheuser. Look at it fight out, though. Did actually hold that turn for a minute. I mean, if you throw it on that much Anheuser, yeah, I could see it being a negative 2-1. That flew just like a negative 2-1, but I also threw it on like a roller angle almost. I think you guys get my point. So basically my point is that this thing does not fly like the numbers. Uh, if you want something that flies closer to that 8.6, negative 2.1, flippy fairway driver, Heiser flip fairway driver, go get an Essence. Go get a Brave. Honestly, the Brave flies really similar to that. Yeah, this is not the flippy fairway driver you're looking for. Now there might be some flippy runs of it. There might be a, a flippy color or whatnot. You guys know how Axiom does their thing. Yeah, just disregard the numbers on this thing. It still flies great. It's a great flying disc. I, I might still bag it, honestly, because it looks freaking awesome, you know? I'm not going to bag it in that flippy fairway slot. It's, it's going to go in like that Athena slot, that that T-Bird slot. This is that's, that's what this thing flies like. Great disc. Not hating on it at all. Love the stamp. Love the artwork on it. It looks super cool. Go get yourselves one at flightfactorydisc.com. We've got some awesome colors. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.